Okay, so in this video, I'll be going over mining Ethereum on my RTX 3080. I'll be going over the hash rates, power draw, and overclocks on my RTX 3080. Now, if you just want a quick glance, I will have everything in the description below. So thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of Miner. Okay, so let's go over mining Ethereum on my RTX 3080. I'm going to go over the hash rates, overclocks, and power draw mining Ethereum. Now, I do own the EVGA GeForce RTX 3080 FTW3 Ultra Gaming Edition. So these figures may vary from other RTX 3080s. Now, just beware, it is Silicon Lottery, and this RTX 3080 is one of the best ones out there. Now for the video card driver, I'm going to use the most updated NVIDIA driver, which is GeForce Game Ready driver version 460.89. And the miner program I'm going to use is called Phoenix Miner 5.4C. And the overclock program I'm going to use is called MSI Afterburner. Okay, so this is my RTX 3080 on my test bench, and it idles around 43 watts. Now pulling up MSI Afterburner, let's first test out the stock settings. So mining Ethereum on stock settings, I was averaging around 86.74 mega hashes and the whole rig was pulling around 403 watts. So the GPU itself was only pulling around 360 watts. So mining Ethereum on stock settings, I was averaging around 86.74 mega hashes and the whole rig was pulling around 403 watts. So the GPU itself was only pulling around 360 watts. So the hash per watt was about 0.24 mega hashes per watt. Now it's very inefficient to mine on stock settings, so it's highly recommended to tune it. Okay, so now for the best efficiency settings I tested for my RTX 3080, I put the power limit at 60%, I put the core at 0, and the memory at 1500. Now I was averaging around 102.26 mega hashes, and the whole rig was pulling around 293 watts. So the GPU itself was now pulling around 250 watts, so the hash per watt was about 0.41 mega hashes per watt. Okay, so I did want to do more testing, so I did want to put the core all the way down to the lowest it allowed. So I put the power limit at 60%, the core at negative 502, and the memory at 1500. I was now averaging around 94.65 mega hashes, and the whole rig was pulling around 293 watts. So the GPU itself was pulling around 250 watts. So the hash per watt was about 0.38 mega hashes per watt. So decreasing core did not help with the efficiency. Now I did also want to test what the core increased, so I put the power limit at 60%, the core at plus 300, and the memory at plus 1500. I was now averaging around 101.71 mega hashes, and the whole rig was pulling around 293 watts, so the GPU itself was pulling around 250 watts, so the hash per watt was about 0.41 mega hashes per watt. So increasing the core also did not help with the efficiency, so it was best to leave the core at zero. Okay, so last but not least, this is my recommended efficiency overclock settings for the Arctic 3080, but fine tune it if needed. I recommend putting the power limit at 60%, the core at zero, and the memory at plus 1100. Now, if the GPU starts crashing, either decrease your memory or increase your power limit. And if you didn't want to fine tune it, you want to either increase your memory or decrease your power limit. So hopefully this helps. So thanks for checking out my mining results mining Ethereum on my RTX 3080. And if you do want to ask me any questions live, I do stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash miner every Sunday 2.30 p.m. US Eastern Time. And if you do need any type of help, definitely join the Discord. I or someone knowledgeable will definitely help you out. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it. Sub if you to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Thanks for watching the life of a miner. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want me to get angry and turn Super Saiyan, so make sure you subscribe to The Life of a Miner. I'm also the narrator, next time on The Life of a Miner.